Welcome back to the channel. Feral Trade Gaming here with the Greenwood Seminoles football. And as you can see, James is the only one who believes in us. We'll rock with us, but right quick, I want to introduce y'all to our rookies. Okay, first up is Joshua Williams, number 23. Defense back out of Fayetteville State. He stands 6'3, 193 pounds. He is a very versatile defensive back. He loves to cover. There's nobody he's going to pass him. For the best, better not try him this year. And he loves to help out in the run. So, run back thinking he's going to break free. Wait and see on number 23. Yes, sir. Let's go. Expect him to make an immediate impact his rookie year, his first season in the league. Next up is Ronnie Thomas, a defensive lineman who knows how to get to the ball carrier. No matter how fast he is, no matter how slow he is, Ronnie Thomas is there. He applies a lot of pressure in college. Coming out of Mississippi Valley State University, and we are hoping that he can apply a lot of pressure out here in the league. Very big, very mean, and he loves, loves, absolutely loves to hit. He loves to be physical. He loves the contact. He is not afraid, and he does not back down, and he is a QB hunter. Almost like a heat-seeking missile. Next up, we have our man coming out of fam. You, Jamari Shree. He is a quick route runner. He has great hands, and he has decent. Then kind of kind of slow for the league, but he has decent speed. Look for him to make those plays out of the slot route because he is a natural-born playmaker, and that is what we need on these on our receiving court right now. Expect him to make an impact a little bit this rookie year. He, he's going to get time to develop and grow. Next up is our quarterback, Quentin Williams, standing at 6'5", very tall, 200 pounds. He's coming out of the University of Howard, HU. We got brought him in to put a fire under Trabar because Trabar has been making some questionable decisions. Quentin Williams in college had a stellar last season. so. We're hoping that that would wake up Chabari, or that we will hope that he will do better than Chabari. We will have a quarterback switch and a new franchise quarterback. We will find out this season how it goes. Stay tuned. Next up, we have Darian Bryant out of Virginia Union. Virginia Union Division Two. Uh oh, this lineman has has multiple weekly awards. He's known for not letting anybody through, getting a lot of pancakes. It's going to be hard to do anything with this man, getting past this man. And I hope that we can, he can have that type of success in the league because right now our line needs it. We are desperate. So we look forward to for him to come in to make an immediate impact as he hopefully gets no holding calls and comes in extremely disciplined. Next up, we have Kendrell Flowers. Out of South Carolina State University, this running back was a leading rusher in the MEAC, and we're hoping that he can develop and blossom into be an outstanding running back for this franchise. We love this kid. This is this was a questionable selection in the draft, but however, we, we believe in him. We know he can grow. We want him to grow. We're not looking forward to trading him or anything like that. He was not brought in as a replacement. This, he's going to have time to grow and develop, and I hope y'all enjoy his career. All right, let's get in this game. So the first quarter was a bunch of nothing. And now we're here at the bottom. Three minutes and 25 seconds left with McCoy taking a punt to get our offensive drive started. And what a punt it is. He breaks two tackles and finally gets pushed out of bounds. Here we are now, first and 10. And let me tell you something, man. Welcome to the season. I appreciate everybody who's been following, who's been keeping up, who's enjoying these videos, who's enjoying this franchise. Uh, got a lot of new things coming to the channel. Make sure y'all guys like, share, subscribe as we get into this drive. Omaha. Here the we are. The Making adjustments at the line. Trabari drops he back for the one pass. Completes one to the outside. And, and that's Shane Farrell, a guy who's always been there for us, been reliable and everything like that. Uh, okay. Now, I didn't notice this. Uh, at first, but I caught on to it during the game randomly. The at times, the quarterback and the running back get switched. Shut, it's something that's going to get fixed in the next in the update, defense. the next patch. Uh, then he's trying to the figure it out. But 
Here we are. Our quarterback takes a snap, throws a little pass to the side, and it's Pavey catches it. And our tight end can make anybody, anybody. Look like a star. You, Dave, As Payne catches that ball James and gets the first down. The <laughs> he can Good make boy. anybody look like a star, baby. When you have a, a tight end like this, you love them, okay? You love them. You take care of them. You take them, you take them out to Good dinners. Back you back feed them. Pass. Pause on that. He As he drops ball. McCoy again, the running back, drops back for another pass and completes it to the other running back. Aiden, Blackshaw, the starting running back, gets a pass from the backup running back. <laughs> Well, another first down. McCoy, lining up under Let's center. go. Hey, man, you got to love it. You got to love it. Yep, time to clean this up. Thank you. Let's switch, baby. Time to clean that up. <laughs> Let's get it. And it takes a snap, and he gets in there. And if you see the gray circle under it, that means I am in coaching mode. I am not in control of these players. So everything wonderful you see happening is on them. And everything bad you see happening, well, it's on there. Aiden gets the pitch and walks right into the end zone for the touchdown. And we are on the board first. And with this field goal, that will make it 7-2-0. And it is good. Okay, here we are on defense, baby. Let's get a stop. It's going to run back to the motion. Drops back and gets Oh, He gets away from the sack, but... That means nothing because Kofi picks the ball off, breaks a tackle, and brings the ball all the way to what looks like the 15-yard line. Let's go Greenwood Seminoles defense. That is what I'm talking about, baby. The very next drive, we come out and get an interception. And now we are campaigning for another touchdown to put us up 14-0. Making adjustments at the line. Chabari drops back for the pass. Has a man open. Can he find him? He does not. Instead, he takes off and uses his feet and gets brought down at about the four-yard line nice run for the quarterback good job not fumbling wish he would have slid but it is fine it's fine it's fine next play the very next play he hands the ball off to Jabari Jabari uh, Aiden Blackshire Aiden Blackshire falls forward into the end zone he extends that arm and gets the touchdown the referee awards us let's go and this field goal will put us up 14 to nothing if he makes it he better make it he better make it he makes it here we are on offense campaigning for another touchdown Jabari drops back and throws an interception across the middle and that defender is tackled by Shane Farrell now as El Scott gets his interception you see why we brought him in the quarterback we can't keep having that but that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy rewind it rewind it and see how many other options he had instead of throwing it right there dead into the middle of the linebacker right there just in his hands as Chavez Alvarez excuse me breaks a tackle but gets level by Kofi and still picks up three yards on the play. Second down. No, that broke a tackle right there. We can't be having that. Come on now. Come on, baby. I'll be drafting a defensive lineman next year. Y'all better, <laughs> better get it right. Let's go. I don't want Alvarez doing that ever again. If he break a tackle, he better get tackled where you broke that tackle at. Let's go. Quarterback drops back for a pass. He has, oh, he has a man wide open over the middle. Is he going to score or is Kofi going to catch him? Kofi brings him down, but not in time. Touchdown, the Vancouver Mollers. I didn't know they were called the Mollers. I always call them. <laughs> I always disrespect to call them the Baby Ducks or the Punk Ducks or something like that, but now they call them Mallards. What are Mallards? I need to look at it. Anyway, we are on offense. As the score is now 14 to 7, we are on offense and we are camping. Aiming to bring the score to 21 to 7. Can we do it? Will we do it? Let's find out right now. That's back for the pass. Has a man open. Doesn't see him. Sees another one. Tree. And that's the rookie for his first reception of his career. First reception of his career for about 10 yards. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Shouts out to the rookie for making that catch. I know in those moments, man, your heart's racing, your heart's pounding. You know, you pretend like it's another day in the office, but it's not. It means a lot more. Just like the first reception, it means a lot more. And this first, his first touchdown, whenever he gets, it's going to mean a lot more. Let's get it, baby. Let's can't even pay for the touchdown, Number though. The Let's get it. So we have a safety over to the left. The I do not want this ball to go to Braylon. Oh, the safety's leaving. Throws it to Braylon. He doesn't. He throws it to Broderick Freeman. And Broderick Freeman picks up the first down and a little bit more. And I appreciate every game and every yardage we can get. Although I would love to right now to see a deep pass to Braylon. Throw it to Braylon, man. He pitches it to Aiden Blackshire. Aiden Blackshire gets brought down for a one-yard loss. Oh, no. Generous spot. 
second and ten, not a one yard loss, so it maybe a loss of inches. With two Good thing we don't count inches in this uh, league. He drops back for a pass, has a man Lines open, sees him, delivers it, does not make the catch. The running back fails us. Adam Blackshire just fails us. And of course, the coach is going to call the same play. I think this is it's pride at this point, but I know what he, what he wants to happen. It's just not happening. As Aiden, Bla I mean, Aiden Blackshire catches the ball or the, over the middle of the field. He wants the ball to go to Braylon. That's what he wants. Braylon or Brodeer. But Tabari does not trust him for some reason, even though Brodeer was open at one point. Tabari, either that or Tabari is just not paying attention. Like, I mean, his awareness is not the greatest. The decision making is not the greatest. So maybe that's what it is. And that was maybe about it. That's just what it is. As he's making decisions at the line, going against the play that the coach has called, drop back for a pass, throws it to Aiden. Aiden catches it. For a game, I cannot be mad at him making adjustments if he's gaining yards and scoring points. So I'm not going to be. He's 7 for 12 for 86 yards. One interception today. So I can't be too mad. It's Aiden Blackshaw gets the ball and gets stopped for just a four-yard game. And we are going to score because this is Greenwood Seminoles football, baby. Let's go. As our fullback gets the ball and walks right in. Let's go, Cox. We love you, Victor. Let's get it, baby. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Everybody gets the ball on this team. If you are on this team, you getting the ball. We might put a lineman out there. You never know. <laughs> we are up 21. Oh, we are 21 7. Excuse me. And it's now the third quarter with nine minutes and 55 seconds left. Y'all missed an awesome halftime. We had a HBCU band come out and perform, but we couldn't coverage it due to. Second we need revenue, and that's what the commercials are for. So, <laughs> here we are campaigning for another touchdown. Three wheels, seven of football, baby. Let's go. Quarterback drops back for a pass, delivers a strike over the middle, and it is overthrown. Luckily, it falls harmlessly to the ground, and no, and I do mean no, body touches it or catches it for an interception. Drops back for another pass. This time he has his tight end. The tight end we love. The tight end we just love, baby. We love this guy because he makes this happen, and we love and need that. Here we go, baby. Trabari drops back for another pass. Delivers a strike. Down the field to Braylon Blackshire. He catches it and gets almost gets the touchdown, and this is why we love him. This is why I say throw it to him. You see that safety going away? You throw it to him, baby. Throw it to him. He gonna come through every time. Braylon is clutch, baby, and that's what we need. Let's go. Jabari hands the ball off to Aiden, and Aiden falls right into the end zone for a touchdown. And now the score is 27 to seven. This field goal is gonna put us up 28 to seven, and we're gonna go straight to the fourth quarter so we can see our rookies finish this game out, baby. Let's go. And I know normally we get out of here, but I just gotta see our rookies play, baby. We gotta see our rookies play. We gotta support them. And Joshua Williams, Darian Bryant. Uh, Shree, Quinn Williams, and uh, Joshua Williams gets onto the field. And just like that, we force a four and out, and we are on offense. And now you get to see the rookie quarterback take over with the rookie running back, Kendra Flowers. Let's get it, baby. I almost I forgot the running back, but it's okay because he will make me remember with this four-yard game. He going to make me love him. He says what he said. Whoa, pause. He <laughs> <laughs> he said it, but he didn't mean it like that. He meant he's going to be so good. And there's our running, uh, running back, Victor McCoy. He's playing fullback right now. We got him last year out of free agency once our starting running backs. All three of them got injured, and we were left with nothing. But, you know, our fourth string, he couldn't get the job done. So we picked him up, and, man, what a pickup. Victor McCoy has been the, what we needed. He's been what we needed. He's, get, he's gotten us everywhere we needed. He stepped in. He, he, he got us through the playoffs. You know, we didn't win. You know, he still got us there, and that's what matters. He helped. He was a piece. He wasn't. Good he wasn't lackluster. Out. You know, we still and had a ground game because of him. You need a ground game this league. You can't be all pass. You can't be all run. You got to know how to mix it up, even if you pass heavy. Flow, uh, Quinn Williams drops back for a pass and gets the tight end. That is a smart throw. You, you're, you're a rookie coming in. You know, you're pretty green. You know, you just got to gotta work out the nerves. And how to do that is you find your open guys on the side. You find, you throw it to your place, you know you're going to make catches. You know the tight end is reliable. Mr. Reliable, you know that. So you throw it to him. 
There you go, baby. You don't force none if you don't have to. Although, I would love to see you throw it to the star receiver on the team. I don't understand why you're so so against that, but that's crazy because that man is going to catch it 10 out of 10 if it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. And that is a fact. As he throws it to Brock Deer, but Brock Deer can't make the catch. Now we have a fourth and one situation, and we are going for it because, well, <laughs> why not? <laughs> exactly, baby. Let's go. He's two for three for 10 yards right now. So, you know, he's working out his nerves as Victor McCoy picks up the first down. Let's go. Greenwood Simmons football. We, you, you wouldn't know that we were this talented looking at us on paper. But you see us playing the game, and it's just like, wow, it's Kendra Flowers fight for that three-yard game. I love the effort. I love it. He wants to grow and be a star running back one day himself. He's aiming for that. So, I love to see him get out here and show it and prove it. This is a starting defense, whether it's a respectable defense or not. These are still starting. So, I love that he's doing what he's doing. He's trying his hardest. Quinn Williams is trying to make a good pass. He doesn't. He throws into triple coverage. Uh, I, I don't know why there. That had There was no reason for that. You saw the safety. You should have went to the outside or something. That's crazy. But anyway, here we are, third and seven. Uh, Quinn Williams drops back for the pass. He makes a good read. I see it. He sees the tight end, catches it because he saw it. Let's go. And this is what I mean. Jabari better watch out. He better watch out. If ever Quinn throws for 100 yards in his fourth quarter, he will be a starting quarter that I promise you that. As he throws it downfield and the ball gets swatted. Not a great decision. Not a great decision, but it wasn't a bad decision. That was a 50 50 ball. I respect that. As he drops back, he gets set. And that's okay. That's okay. That's lineman error. Five linemen, four rushes. We got to do better, guys. We have to do better. There's no reason for a man to just run right through like that. Especially one of our primary hostels on gaps. Like, that's the center. You center and guard right there. It's not on the outside. It's the inside. I got to pick those blocks up. As they do, he gets a chance. He throws the ball. But the receiver gets out of position trying to spin around and catch the ball. And it gets, it just gets deflected to the ground. Pump the ball up. Our punter puts it through the back of their end zone as we are getting ready for our defensive stand. Now, guys, remember, we have Ronnie Thomas on the line. We have Joshua Williams in the backfield. I mean, excuse me, defensive back. So pay attention and be aware because Ronnie might get through there and then Joshua Williams might get an interception. I don't know who that was, but that was a great deflection. <laughs> I ain't see who it was. I ain't see the number. That was a great deflection. Ain't nobody cares about Walter Rivers' stats. Like, quit playing me as he looks back, drops back and looks for a pass. He, who's he trying? He misses. The ball gets deflected. Who was that? In between, not Kofi. Why would you try the only defensive back with an interception in this game? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That is the main, that is the person you threw the interception to. You have a rookie on the left side. Come on, man. Come on, baby. What you doing? Make smart decisions out here. Come on now. You act like our quarterback as the pass gets deflected. Let's go. Exactly Great defense to stand. So I love the defense convert. backs today. I love them. I love them. The quarterback is not all that great, you know, so it kind of makes it easier for my guys. But, hey, man, I love them anyway. It is fourth and ten, and they're going for it. Oh, they're the boldness. And the quarterback takes it. He tries them. And the rookie deflects it. Let's go. <laughs> this quarterback's going to have a hard time, baby. It's just going to be a hard time out there playing with us. Let's get it. Let's go. Here we go. Quinn Williams back in charge. Kendra Flowers gets the pitch. Can't break the tackle. Gets tackled at the line. Oh, just a spot. He gets one yard on the play. Woo. Referees rewarded us with that forward. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, you know he didn't get that forward progression. That's what it's called. <laughs> As the Robins, the receiver's been in the back of the back of the bottom of the bottom of the bench of the depth chart. That man gets a reception that might be his third all-time third all-time reception. That man barely gets any play time, but today he steps out in the field in the fourth quarter, gets a reception for six yards, trying to campaign for more. He gets another reception for more yards. He's campaigning to be moved up the depth chart, but we will have to see. We will have to see. We will have to see, young man, as Flowers gets the ball, falls forward, but does not quite get there, and of course, we're going to go back to him. We have to go back to him. Do not pull the Seahawks. Please, coach, don't do it. 
and he gets the ball again, and he walks into the end zone after breaking the tackle and flexes on to let him know he's the man. And you better understand, King Drill Flowers, let's go. This young man is putting a lot of work, and he's going to continue putting work because he wants a number one spot, whether here or somewhere else. And I support this man 100% out of South Carolina State. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Greenwood Seminoles. Let's go, baby. Here we go for the kickoff. Now, this really don't matter. This really doesn't matter because, you know, they ain't going to do nothing with it. Eh, I give them maybe, maybe 20 yards. That's it. And I was right. Not even 20 yards. Let's go. <laughs> and he got to the 16-yard line. 17-yard line. 17-yard line. Oh, man. That's crazy. And they was only one yard deep to the end zone, so I know what y'all saying. Well, in the end zone, technically, no, it wasn't 20 yards either way. Event. Stop playing with me. I know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Okay, thank you. But keep them comment sections hot. I love it. Anyway, throws it to the flat. And, oh, almost picked up by the linebacker. But Alvarez snatches it for the eight-yard gain. That is a great running back. That is a great running back. You can't be mad at that. That's a great running back. We are in our heavy blitz pack on de package on defense. We want to force them to throw this ball or to take a sack. Nothing, no running, no runs at all. That's what we want, no runs. And they're not going to run. It's late in the fourth. There wouldn't be no point in running. Well, to the running clock, I guess. But nah, nah. He has a man open. Couldn't get it to him. He throws it away. All right. All right, now you better be careful. We got defensive backs out here that's trying to make a name for themselves. Better be careful. I said Josh Williams, but you don't 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 sleep on Pooheen, okay? Because he ain't that depth chart fighting for the spot himself. Let's go, baby. You better be careful. You got defensive backs out here really trying to get it. Those are pass and almost picked up by the linebacker. And also, we have a hungry linebacker. He's been trying to get interceptions all game. <laughs> if only he could catch, baby. If only he could catch, he'd have been took off on you. We gonna have. We got a defense that's gonna make you pay. This defense is gonna make you pay for passes that's not accurate. So you better, better get it right, Rivers. As you do and get brought. Oh, he breaks the tackle. Will he get it? Kofi? Kofi hawks him down with a that touchdown save and tackle. Rivers finally gets the throw he was looking for. He celebrates even though he's down 28 points in the fourth quarter. He's still gonna celebrate because he finally got the pass he was looking for. Let's go. Defensive line shifts to their left, our right. Rivers is looking for a touchdown pass. He throws it in the end zone and he, nope, he did not get it. Two minute warning. Just flashes across the scoreboard as we awaited the decision. <laughs> but I saw the ball falls to the ground. I was able to call it. Let's go. Defense backs move up. And we are looking for a sack on this play. And what do we get? We get a no, he breaks the sack. He breaks another one, but we finally get a sack on this play. And guess who it is? Levon, baby. Let's go. You're going to be seeing his name a lot this year. DeAndre Levon, you're going to see his name a lot this year. So be ready for that. That man right there. Yes, yeah, so, well, you might not because I normally skip the defense. But you're going to see his name a lot this year. That man there, he's looking to have a stellar year. He is trying to get a huge contract extension as we try to get another sack not able to defensive back drops the interception that was just handed to him i mean give it to him give it to him baby and he drops it man that's crazy all right here we are baby it's, uh it's fourth and 18 they have a four wide receiver set. Ooh, trips on the right let's see how we handle this let's see how we handle this defensive back so let's go let's see how we handle it Let's see as defensive line making an adjustment. Defensive backs retreat, but they come right back up to the line to let them know that this is not going to be given. Let's get it. Boom. And the quarterback gets sacked on the play. Yes, sir. Jerome's in the house. Watch him out. Jerome's in the house. Jerome sound like with the sack to change possessions. And Kendra Flowers will run this game away. He will, or will he? You know how our coach is, baby. You know how our system is. You know, we, we might run the ball away. Or or we might drop back and try to put it over his head, baby. You know how we do, you know. We, we play a little scumbag offense in the fourth quarter. You know how we do. We don't care. Quinn Williams look for a pass. We have a penalty on the field as the man is wide open. It's the rookie. Shree breaks a tackle and is headed for the house. But will it come back? Will and it does. Kendra Flowers, the rookie running back, ruins the touchdown for the rookie receiver and the rookie quarterback on the play. The rookie ruined the rookies. What a play. I know he's upset. I'm upset. We are all upset. I know. I know. But, hey, growing pains, baby. 
growing pains. He will be running a mile. He will be running a mile there. Because I want perfection. He, want, he will be running a mile. That's right. Quinn Williams making moves at the line. Uh-oh. He drops back. He gets to the same receiver, but this time unable to come up with it as the defense is there and doing what they're supposed to do. Now, since you ruined it, you know, I think we should give McCoy a chance to <laughs> know what you're talking about. My bad, my bad. Anyway, Brady tackles for a loss on McCoy. McCoy should have broken that tackle, but he doesn't. I'm not going to be too upset with him, you know. I'm not expecting greatness like that. Another penalty on the field. Will it, come, will it be for us? It goes against us. And, of course, Vancouver is going to choose to turn over on down so they can have amazing field. You know, I can't talk today. <laughs> Let's go. Position. Field position. I don't know. Anyway, Rivers dropped back for a pass. Those to a man who he thought was open but quickly covered. He was baited. Tried to get an interception there, but the safety comes up short. Gullah is there. But another deflection has three on the day, eight tackles. Ooh, that man is balling. Let's go, Sean Gullah, baby. Let's go. Just back, he needs it. Oh, he breaks two tackles to avoid the set. And now we're chasing him down. Oh, the linebacker should have been there. He wasn't as, as uh, who's that, Puhin? <laughs> That's a well he brings him down violently. Man, oh, man, that was, oh, yeah, it was Puhin. PZ's over there, I see him. That is crazy. Defensive linemen and defensive backs making adjustments. Defensive backs playing tight coverage. Here we are, baby. Boom. Brought him down. Look at Sack. My man, Shaq Tech. Let's go, baby. Always glad when you're on the field. You're there for when we need you to be. Loving it. Here we go, baby. 41 seconds left. Second and 20. Defensive backs move up for tight coverage. And I think here we're planning on just... Make sure they don't score. That's what we're doing. We're trying to keep them out the end zone. And by doing that, we're running all kinds of blitz at them. We want everybody to touch them. Everybody needs to get in there. As Jerome is in the house again. I said, Jerome's in the house. Watch him, man. Two sacks. Yeah, got smacked in his mouth. Jerome in the house. Watch him, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's go, baby. As we send another blitz, he gets away from him. Throws a ball. Nowhere to nobody. The receiver tries to make a play, but couldn't reach it. Defensive back and can't reach it. He just throws it away. It is now fourth and twenty-nine. Fourth and twenty-nine. Will 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 have we done our job and kept them out of the end zone, or is this the play that exposes the defense for who they really are? Let's find out. The quarterback gets brought down, and that is it. And that was by the rookie Ronnie Thomas. He records a tackle for the day. Let's go. Our rookies have stats, baby. All of them. As Quinn drops back for the pass and gets sacked. This game. Oh, we called a timeout with four seconds left. We really want Quinn to get a touchdown. We really do. We're hoping he can get it right here. Get his first touchdown, baby. Right here. Let's see. Can he get it? Will he get it? Let's see. Right here. Let's go. Come on, Quinn. Drop back for a pass. Come on. Find him. Find him. Oh, he had a man over, but those are, those are to the rookie instead. Incomplete pass, and that would do it. I love y'all. Y'all love me. We are out of here. Love, peace, chicken grease, baby. Let's go. Answered the challenge today. He's my stud of the game.